Girl Scouts. Betsy Nichols here, Program Specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines, returning to you from Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part three of four for the Brownie Think Like an Engineer journey. Today I will be guiding you through the third design challenge, but first let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So today's design challenge is called Pop Fly. Um, this is a fun word for a catapult. We are going to be trying to design and build something that will be able to fling a ping pong ball or, another, or any other type of small lightweight ball at a target that we put up on the wall. So to build this, we need a couple different things. We are looking for um, a small paper cup, a wooden block or spool, or maybe an empty plastic bottle, one small lightweight uh, ball, so like a ping pong ball or a foam ball, three to five paint stirrers, wooden slats, balsa wood, or several pieces of thick cardboard taped together, and masking tape or duct tape. So those are the supplies that we are looking for. I am going to take a moment to look around my home and see how close I can get to this list. Why don't you take a moment to do the same? And as always, remember that it's okay if you can't find everything that's on this list and make sure that you have permission to use um, everything that you're finding around your house for this experiment. So I'm gonna go grab my supplies and I will be right back. I am back with my supplies. This is what I was able to round up. I have some tape. I got um, a couple pieces of cardboard. I have a wooden spoon because I don't have any um, paint stirrers or wooden slats. So I'm gonna use a spoon and some cardboard. Um, for the ball to um, use in the catapult. Um, I don't have any ping pong balls or um, foam balls, so I have this little nub of an eraser that I'm going to try to swap in. And then another idea that I have was, um, I have this packet of pony beads. And so they're really small, so they might not work, um, but I think it's worth a try. So I'm going to try to launch these out of my pop flyer. And then, um, I don't have any paper or plastic cups, so I actually improvised one out of half of a toilet paper roll. I just cut a toilet paper roll in half and then I glued a piece of paper to the bottom of it just to be a teeny tiny cup. What else? I have scissors and then to stand in for the wooden block or spool or any empty plastic bottle, I have... Um, a couple different sizes of plastic Tupperware containers that I'm going to be experimenting with. Um, hopefully those will suffice, but I will find out. So that is what I was able to round up. I am going to get to designing and building. Why don't you do the same and we will meet right back with our prototypes. Real quick, I have a mid-building update slash message. I've been trying to build out of cardboard, and as you can see, it's kind of getting a little flimsy. And um, that first test that I did as I was building um, didn't go how I wanted it to, so I'm going to switch directions and um, pull in more kitchen supplies. I have a tiny spatula, I have a plastic spatula, and I have a wooden spatula. 
Uh, so I'm going to try to add these to my design and see how that goes. See if they are a little bit more sturdy than the cardboard. I have my completed pop flyer. So this is what I came up with. I have a wooden spoon on the bottom. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pieces of cardboard stacked on top of each other. I have a wooden spoon and then I have a little um, basket that I made out of a toilet paper roll and some paper that is my stand-in for a paper cup. Um, I crisscrossed some tape um, to keep this nice and snug um, in the little intersection between the spoon and the spatula. Um, I was feeling really lucky because um, when I took apart my first model, the tape was still sticky so I could reuse the tape on this second model so it's feeling really good about not wasting um, any more tape. So I'm going to take this over to the floor and test it out but first I need to put up a little target uh, for me to try to hit with my eraser and my beads. Um, if you have tape you can tape up um, just a little square on the wall. Um, you could tape up a sheet of paper and try to hit it. Um, I'm going to tape up an embroidery hoop. You'll see that set up um, while we are um, testing. And so I'm going to have a little embroidery hoop that I'm going to try to be hitting with my pop flyer. So I will get testing. So there you have it. Um, I was going around my kitchen picking up the pony beads and I counted 27. So that means it took me 27 tries to get my pop flyer to hit the target, but I knew I could do it because I was getting a good height, I was getting a good distance, so I knew I just needed to practice my aim and work on where I was pointing my pop flyer because I noticed that it kept kind of swerving off to the right, so then I had to adjust it more to the left, and eventually I did hit the target. So I am very happy about that, and I will close things out by saying thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this was our last design challenge of this journey. So if you stop here, then you are good to go to get your Think Like an Engineer badge. But if you tune in with me next week, we will be talking about how we can take what we worked on with these design challenges and think of something that we can do to take action in our communities to think like an engineer in our communities. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you were successful with your pop flyers. Um, maybe you had to try a couple times just like me and that is all part of being an engineer. So I'm gonna wrap things up with make new friends and a friendship circle. So sing it with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend.
Bye, Girl Scouts.